Are we waiting 200 years to read gender parody? No. Here's how some of our projects are empowering women today. In India, female entrepreneurs entered Eco's Green Business Challenge, where the platform connected them to many investors and incubators. Their organic honey and garden tourism business thrived and they became successful entrepreneurs in their own right. In Nepal, micro-enterprise promotion took off with over 75% of the responders being female entrepreneurs who were able to generate a profit of over Rs 2.1 million from an initial investment of around Rs 3.3 million. These agriculture-based mini-enterprises were able to improve employment for young adults, diversify food intake, provide better schooling for children, and empower women to take wiser financial decisions. A woman from Central Asia was supported by ECO and FSDS to bring her business ideas to life with business planning and financial strategy training. After attending Bishkek Investment Forum, she met investors and then opened a children's educational center, Academy of Growth. She was empowered and took action to create a better future for the Barskoon village. In Bangladesh, Eco initiated a network of 320 nutrition sales agents who were female micro entrepreneurs, going door to door to raise nutrition and hygiene awareness and sell necessary products. All these women are now role models in developing nations, leading the way for women in food and nutrition security, economic empowerment, and responsible business across South and Central Asia.